Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make 3D printed LED signs. At the end of the tutorial, you'll be able to make personalized LED signs like these. For this tutorial, let's make this like LED sign. So let's get right to it. Now you are going to use this software Autodesk Fusion 360. In case that you don't want to spend any money to buy the software, you can just get the free version like I did. You need to go through the tiring registration process though, but just take your time, I promise you it's worth it. Then you need to decide on which font do you want to use for your LED sign. Google Fonts is my go-to website to search for free fonts. There are so many types of fonts to choose from. Just for some quick tips, you want your sign to pop, so choose a font that's like super thick, something like Poppins Black or Bolo Black. In this case, let's use this Public Sense Black font for our LED sign. I'm gonna hit download, extract it and install it on my computer. To install a font on a Mac, simply double click on it and click install when prompted. It will be installed automatically on your Mac. Now you wanna find a picture of the thumbs up icon on the internet and then go to this website. You wanna convert the picture to SVG, so upload your picture, choose SVG and then hit convert. Once it's finished, hit download and save it on your computer. Now you want to open Fusion 360. Click Create Sketch. You'll then be prompted to choose any of the three planes. I'm going to choose this XC plane for now. I like to start with sketching a rectangle, which is going to be a reference for the size of our sign. I want my LED sign to be about 300 millimeter wide and 120 millimeter high. Now hover to Create and choose the Text tool. Type in the text that you want for your sign. Resize the text as necessary and change the font style. Let's find our new installed font in the drop down list here. If it doesn't show up, try to restart your computer after installing the new font. Now we're not going to need the rectangle anymore, so let's delete that. Select the text, right click on it and select explode text. This will create the outlines around the letters. Green line means that they are constrained. We need to change the lines to blue so we can edit the letters. Click the lock icon and select everything. This will change the outlines to blue. It is then possible to move them around, alter their shapes, or even rotate them. Now let's add that thumbs up icon next to our like LED sign. Hover to insert, select insert SVG, and find the picture that we've converted just now. You may want to rescale the picture by dragging this inward or outward and move it to your desired position. You also want to change the green lines to blue. Next, select the whole text and hit Command C or Control C on PC to copy the text. Now hover to Construct and select Offset Plane. Select the plane with your text on it, type in 100 millimeters and hit OK. Now you want to select that new plane you just created and right click on it. Select Create Sketch. Hit Command V or Control V on a PC to paste the text that we've copied just now. Now I'm just gonna rename our sketch layers real quick. Now let's hide the second sketch layer by clicking this eye icon. Right click on our original sketch layer and select Edit Sketch. Select the letters and click the offset button in the top toolbar. You can then define the thickness of the offset, which is entirely up to you, but you want the offsets of each character to overlap. Let's make the outer offset 10 millimeters thick. Do the same thing with the thumbs up icon. Now I like to delete the lines that I don't need, so you can use the trim tool to do that. Deleting these lines will make it easier for us to work on each character. Now I like to draw lines to separate each character since we are going to have to print each letter individually. You can also skip this step and create the whole thing as one part and cut it in the slicer later. But I like to do it here since I have more freedom. Next, let's create the offset on the inner side of the letters and let's make it 1.2 mm thick. Do the same thing to the rest of the characters. Then click Finish Sketch. Once you've created the offsets, we are ready to design the base, which is going to house the LED strip. Now click the Extrude button. We're going to work on one character at a time, and let's start with the thumbs up icon. Select everything and type in one millimeter. This will be the back wall thickness of the base. Then let's hide that by clicking the eye icon and make our sketch visible again by clicking this eye icon here. Click Extrude again and select the outer border. 
type in 30 millimeters, click the eye icon to make the 3D model visible again, set the operation to join and click OK. Now let's extrude the thin borders. Hide the 3D model, click extrude, select the thin borders, extrude 20 millimeters up, click the eye icon and set the operation to join and click OK. That will create these narrow edges on the inside of the base. Now you want to do the same thing with the rest of the letters. Before I forget, let's create holes where the letters connect so we can pass the LED strip through them. Go back to original sketch, right click on it, select edit sketch and draw some rectangles where the letters connect. Click extrude, select all the areas of the rectangles, make the 3D models visible again, choose offset, type in one millimeter, Extrude about 15 millimeters up. Make sure the operation is set to cut and click OK. You also want to create a hole at the back of the base where the LED strip goes into. Now let's create the diffusers or the caps for the characters. Let's hide the original sketch and the 3D model by clicking these eye symbols. Right click on the second sketch layer and select Edit Sketch. Then let's create the first inner offset, which is going to be one millimeter thick. Then we want to create a very thin second inner offset, which is 0 0.1 millimeter thick. This will ensure that the caps will be slightly smaller than the holes, so they'll have some wiggle room because you don't want the caps to fit in too tightly. I'm going to zoom this in so you will get a better picture on how to do this. First, click Offset, select the letter and create the first 1mm thick inner offset. Then click Offset, select the letter again and create the second 0.1mm thick inner offset. Once you're done, hit Finish Sketch. Now click Extrude and select all the areas except for the outermost 0.1mm border. Extrude 20mm downward and click OK. Then click Extrude again, you want to select the innermost area, select Offset, type in 0.4mm, extrude 20mm downward or all the way down and click OK. The caps or the diffusers will look something like this. Now do the same thing with the rest of the characters. Now that we're done designing our 3D models, Let's export all the parts as separate STL files. To export a part in STL, select it, right click on it, select Save as Mesh, set the format to STL binary and click OK. Then you can save it to your computer. Now I'm going to use Bamboo Studio Slicer to slice then print the sign. It seems that I can fit in at least two characters on the plate, so I'm going to import two letters then print them as one part. I'm also going to print these with the support turned on. For the like sign, I'm going to use this matte PLA filament from Sunlu. Now let's load our blue filament and head over to our slicer. Then you want to slice that, hit print and send it to our printer. You can use a filament of any brand and color, but you might want to consider using a darker color for the base that will make your sign pop even more. I'm using my A1 mini printer from Bamboo Lab, so the print volume is rather small. If you have a printer that has a bigger print volume, you could probably fit in more letters on the plate. Now let's remove the support for the holes. I'm gonna use super glue to attach these letters. Now let's install the LED strip. Ideally, you want to get a self-adhesive LED strip. Peel off the plastic backing and stick the LED strip to the inner wall of the base. It's quite tricky to install it if your sign is small, so try to design a bigger LED sign or enlarge it by scaling it up in the slicer. You also don't want to chip out on the LED strip. You want to get an LED strip that has at least 30 LEDs per meter. Now let's print the caps. I'm using a smooth PEI plate to print the caps, but it's not that big of a deal if you're using the textured PEI plate. 
Next, you want to insert the caps. We've made the caps to be 0.1 mm thinner than the holes, so it's super easy to insert them. Now let's plug in everything and watch our sign comes to life. If you get an RGB LED light strip, you could even change the color of the lights using a remote or even an app, which is a great feature to have. But in such a case that you don't need all that fancy stuff, you could even just create a simple sign like this subscribe sign using the same method. On speaking of subscribe, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and leave a like if you find this helpful. Have fun making your own 3D printed LED sign and I'll see you next time.